I'm testing this Eau Claire collapsible fishing rod this week on Kayak Hacks. Welcome back! If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now, let's get on with it. I'm out here today at Buzzards Bay, south of Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'm going to do a test run on this Eau Claire collapsible rod. You can see that I did the modification where I had to cut off the back to make it be an acceptable length for using on a kayak. I also had to add a hook keeper because it did not come with one. So let's stretch this thing out and see how it works. I notice on the rod handle that it says its preferred lure weight is between one quarter ounce and five eighths of an ounce. So I've got a, about a, a one quarter on there right now once I put a shrimp on it. Let's see if we can catch a fish with this thing. Collapsible rod. I'm getting some pretty decent casts with this Eau Claire collapsible rod. You just got to have enough weight on the end of it to engage the action and leverage the spring of the rod to get the lure out there. It's not working real well with light lures, but quarter ounce working pretty good. You can see how if it were still as long as it used to be, the way you typically reel on a kayak, that would be really obnoxious. I got something hitting my jig head right now. I think it's just a pinfish pecking away at the shrimp I got on there. I'd really love to catch a big red on this thing to really give it a stress. Well, first fish on this Eau Claire collapsible. Nothing special, just a little croaker. But I could feel it. The rod was sensitive. I think I'm gonna like this. Well, something like that gulp with the rattle in it. Let's see what it was. Whoa, it might be something good. Can you hear that? All right, finally caught a fish that's going to really stress this rod. Check out the bend that it puts in the rod, but the rod holds and it allows me to pull up this big old nasty stingray that likes to stick itself to the bottom. But the rod had the backbone. Check it out. This collapsible rod did just fine on this big stingray. Check him out down here. I was able to haul him in uh, without any problems at all. Now I hate stingray, so I'm just gonna cut it off. I just don't want to mess with the tail and the hook. But with that, I think that this Eau Claire collapsible rod is a great backup substitute for any rod that I would use on the kayak. Well, here's an example of why you need that collapsible rod. I just had reds cut me off twice on my other two rods. So while I'm re-rigging, I extended the collapsible one and threw it out there. That way I've always got a bait in the water and you're not gonna catch fish without a bait in the water. As long as you put on the right amount of weight between five eighths and a quarter or so, you're gonna get a good cast with this. And even though this tip is fairly flexible, it proved that it's got the backbone to pull in a nasty old stingray like this one right here. And even though this guy isn't huge, you know, th these stingrays, they just go lock onto the bottom and you gotta have some backbone in your rod to pull them up. So with that, I'm giving this Eau Claire rod a thumbs up as a backup kayak rod. What's your perspective? on the right kind of collapsible rod. Throw it down below. Take care.